Hello, Scorpio. Hi, hi, hi. Surprise. I was in the mood to do a reading and I said, let me go ahead and bless Scorpio with a random bonus reading on Monday. So let's see what God Angels Universe has for you. As you see, that world card just slid its ass on out. It is the morning time, so if you hear, I guess, the difference in my tone, it is because that all of my brain cells are not fully awakened, but spirit always is. So let's see what the universe has for you, Scorpio. I also got some new cards, which I'm really excited about. They're my Morgan Greer. I'll be clarifying with them. All right, so something has come to an end, but guess what? Prosperity begins for you. Whew, self-sabotage. Hey, sun baby. Seven of pentacles, working on your pentacles, and the six of pentacles. I feel like this is a brand new prosperous, prosperous beginning. Um, I do feel like with that Seven of Swords, the Seven of Swords for me usually kind of represents, um, yes, self-sabotaging, you know, kind of war, uh, running away, scurrying away, um, leaving before the party gets started, right? But I feel like in this case with the sun sitting next to it and then the sun um, being coupled by two sevens, I do kind of feel like this was a good move. This was a good departure. I don't necessarily feel like it was self-sabotaging -sabot specifically. I do feel like it was a strategy. You walked away and moved away um, because it was the best thing for you to do. It was what you needed to do to maintain your happiness, peace, and joy. My cards are wonky in frame. Okay. So we see we're leading with the King of Swords. Ah, that... That Aquarius, that, what are you doing, Scorpio? What do you mean you're leaving? What do you mean you're walking away? What do you mean, like, this is blunt honesty, but I feel like this was um, uh, a message from the universe, like, listen, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to walk away. It's time for you to move on to kind of, quote unquote, greener pastures is what I'm hearing. Five of Pentacles, unfortunately, someone was left out in the cold, that cold is a, as part of the process of you walking away i do feel like um this departure for you scorpio was very necessary we have the king of swords and a queen of cups well if that's not an odd couple i don't know what it is this is the queen of love this is the king of logic right and scorpio this is you this is your beautifully balanced energy i feel like here with the empress and the queen of cups yeah, it was almost like whatever this Seven of Swords incident was, you were doing it for yourself. You were doing it for your heart. You were doing it for your happiness and, again, your peace of mind and peace of joy. The Two of Wands here, that's my lovers in separation, or now you're trying to figure out, okay, all roads lead to happiness, so it's like, which one should I take next? In the process of planning, or you know kind of thinking about where you're headed where you're going next you have the page of cups the page of cups says okay yeah like <clears throat> angels are saying these are beautiful loving messages to yourself so be careful of that again it's swords swords right mental energy being in your head make sure that you are not taking the elevator to that mental penthouse suite scorpio you are keeping it moving you are keeping it pushing Six of Pentacles and also the Chariot says to me, mm -mm, we don't do breadcrumbs. Mm -mm, I'm a whole loaf, baby. I don't do crumbs. Um, and the Chariot is moving on, moving forward victoriously. Now, what we don't necessarily see here is say, for instance, the universe blessing you with more pentacles, more opportunities outright. In other words, you don't have like the greatest pentacles on the table, but you do have the empress, right? I do feel like whatever this shift in uh, the shift in your life, again, moving on, moving away from family members, moving out, um, leaving a job, leaving a person behind. Um, it feels like the empress here is saying to you, yeah, you are protecting your love. Yes, more love will grow inside of you. 
Because Scorpio, you are loyal to a fault. You will stay in a bad situation knowing that you can transform it um, into a good situation. You have that power. But I feel like in this particular situation, you're like, yeah, no, there's nothing really here for me, right? Five of Pentacles, leaving someone out in the cold. Whether this happened to you or whether you um, did this to someone, Scorpio, it feels like you have universal appro approval. The universe approves this message, approves this skedaddle. <laughs> yes, universe is approving your skedaddle. There are a lot of colorful cards on this table, which I am all for. I do kind of feel like, yeah, with this world card, your path, your destiny, your life, the seasons, right? Um you made the decision you're going to stand by it the king of swords he's very adamant okay he's very stubborn but i don't feel like this is stubbornness i feel like all of the, all of your logic said mm, yeah do it right not only that but you have the empress and then also the queen of cups you did this for the love of self yeah scorpio go ahead yes bitch yes male or female <laughs> right um, seven of swords and five of pentacles moving forward but looking behind I don't necessarily feel like you're looking behind at this particular situation I feel like you're looking behind at your past and saw it's almost like you're looking at a previous version of yourself where again you would stay in a situation for those breadcrumbs right five of pentacles six of pentacles it's like oh shit as long as I'm getting crumbs I'm getting fed Scorpio's like, not fucking today, not tomorrow, and no time next week, bitch. Okay. Sun and the two of wands, all, all roads lead to happiness. Seven of pentacles with the queen of cups. In the midst of you planning and trying to figure out your next move, your next strategy, your next journey, I do kind of feel like there is going to be a loving message that comes your way. But I feel like that page of cups feels like um, a nod from the universe and saying, good job, Scorpio, keep going, right? Because that page of cups is sitting right next to the chariot and the chariot has everything to do with moving forward positively. You hear me shuffling in the background because my cards just made an appearance on the floor. Yeah, we don't do breadcrumbs. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Scorpio's a whole damn loaf. Scorpio is the bread, the dough, the yeast, and the yeast factory, baby. Ooh, Hierophant. I feel like you were committed to somebody who was emotionally unavailable or someone who is extremely logical but piss poor emotionally yes that is a word ten of swords ten of swords is again you not doing the victim thing you not you know we not doing i'm not betraying myself no more fuck that the magician manifestations yeah that's why you were taking a look at your past could be childhood could be previous relations relationships because i feel like with that magician there it's like okay universe why do I keep manifesting these breadcrumbers or these deceivers or these, you know, low confidence, low self-esteem, insecure, depressive energies? Angels just said to me to check yourself just to make sure that that energy is not active in you. Because again, whatever's in you is what you are going to attract. Eight of Wands. Yeah, the universe is all for this move, Scorpio. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to start to see a lot of movement in other areas of your life. Um, your Shit, here we go again. Your, your face is going to clear up. Your nails are going to grow. I just kind of feel like where you closed off a stagnant chapter in your life, it's almost like by closing that off, other areas are going to kind of move forward. I love, love, love that. Eight of Pentacles work, baby. Um, angels are saying for a lot of you guys, you could. Um, Page of Pentacles, nice. 
I feel like you could have somebody, maybe a secret admirer at work. Um, angels are also saying too, that's a labor of love. So some of you guys could be working on kicking off like another venture that's close to your heart that you love and want, want to do. I'm also hearing your childlike wonder, your childlike joy, um, working on developing the inner child and that childlike joy. I love it. I am here for all of it. Yes. And Page of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Chariot. This is an offer. This Somebody wants to level something out, balance something out with you. But also at the end of the day, Scorpio, this is a Page of Pentacles. You guys know your Emperor, Empress status. So it's up to you on whether or not you want to kind of entertain this conversation, entertain this offer. But I also feel like if you do for some reason, there has to be ironclad boundaries put in place and, and basically stating, listen, fuck you and your breadcrumbs twice. Okay. And if you want to talk to me and you want to talk about your breadcrumbs, get your shit in order or I will happily move on and move away from your ass. Okay. Um, who do I have? I have Taurus. I have Aquarius. I have Capricorn. I have Taurus and Libra. I have Cancer. I have Gemini and Virgo. I have Leo. I have um, Pisces, Cancer, and also Virgo. So you got a hodgepodge of signs here. Do I have, I have all of the earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. I have Pisces and Cancer here, no Scorpio. Um, and not a lot of wand babies. Oh, Leo, fire energy. Yeah, I feel like Scorpio, um, this kind of feels like you chose you. And I also kind of feel like by you choosing you, it's almost like the universe is applauding you because that's not something you normally do. I have cancer here twice. Cancer does not choose him or herself, them or they. Cancer always chooses the person in front of them. Cancer usually comes last. I feel like a lot of you guys, excuse me, could have cancer in your chart. And I feel like, again, that's that part of you that's, that always chooses somebody else. This time, Scorpio, you have made the cut, okay? And I am incredibly pr proud of you. Who we got? Oh, Angel said, ah, uh, Moonology. Sorry for the big caramel arm in your frame. So Moonology, what else do we have for Scorpio? Very uh, short and sweet message of the day. Scorpio, choose yourself, fuck the rest. Okay. And I feel like a lot of you guys needed to hear this message today, which is why I sent, you know, why I'm making the random Scorpio bonus reading. A win-win outcome is forecasted. A universal approval. Um, Angels just said to me, this is not, this is you, right? This is you. Mind, logic, and heart, right? Top of your class, okay? Now... Angels are also saying too, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is exactly, well, this is exactly who you need to uh, attract. Unfortunately, in this world today, these be this beautiful combination doesn't necessarily exist. Um, or it's a, it's a rare, hard find to find somebody who's balanced both mentally and emotionally, right? Um, but angels also said too, for a lot of you guys, and here comes the aha moment this is who a lot of you guys keep attracting you keep attracting that emotionally unavailable person to your very much emotionally available self and Scorpio is saying here today okay get gone tell your story walking I am D-O-N-E look at that you're good enough yeah you deserve better you deserve more fuck up fuck up breadcrumb you the whole loaf Scorpio answers you need are coming that page of pentacles angels also said too don't forget alex that this is your job offer card right so remember i kind of said to you when scorpio kind of closes one door other doors open when you shut down one area of your life other areas open up for a lot of you guys too yes the universe is going to bless you with prosperity scorpio you already know the universe has your number anytime you go through a a deep lesson, a, a, a hard lesson in life, universe is always there to bless you with prosperity and compensation. And there is actually a universal law, the law of compensation, meaning that whenever you 
whenever you um, pass these tests and learn your lessons, the universe compensates you. So Scorpio, get ready for your compensation, baby. A lot of you guys may go on a trip. You may buy a new car. You may, you know, want to do a, some sort of exotic destination. Yeah, go ahead, Scorpio, with your bad self. Be bold and make the first move. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you and your loved ones are safe. Confidence is the key to success. Scorpio, whatever this is that you did, I am here to and co-sign on behalf of the universe. Great freaking job. You see my little busted up thumb up, <laughs> right? Thumb up, good job. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Uh, if the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, Scorpio. Really quick one, but yeah, this is a random bonus. I love you guys, bye.